So freaking, uh, <laughs> shout out one pug. Anyway, this is the Motovox uh, MBX10 I picked up. Runs pretty good. The seat's not on it because I currently have it off. It has to be rewrapped and redone. The seat just looked terrible. It used to be red, but uh, it's not anymore. It's kind of dark, but it's not too bad. This is going to be my son's Christmas present. After I do a little bit of work to it, but it looks really good. Let me turn that light back on. But, uh, yeah, I did a little bit to it. You know, I cleaned it all up and everything. Of course, I, I repainted both the fenders. They've been repainted. You can't really tell. There's a uh, protection grill on the muffler there. Had some rust spots on it. That's been repainted. Like I said, fenders repainted. The wheels need cleaned and everything. I don't know what I'm going to do with the frame, if I'm going to repaint it or not. I really don't feel like busting it down. I was just going to like spray up some of the spots where it looked like you need it. But it seems as though the frame was never a true black, I guess. I don't know. It's like a charcoal black or something. So the black I have wouldn't really match it if I just started fucking got my airbrush out and started fucking spraying it. But, uh, yeah, this would be perfect for him. We tested him out on Old Big Dirty, but he couldn't reach the ground. And, you know, it's made major rule. With motorcycle riding, got to be able to touch the ground. Um, so this one should suit him perfectly. Like I said, I have the white, or uh, the white seat, the, the red seat. This used to be the red seat. And now it is not so red anymore. <laughs> this is what happens when you leave your shit outside and you don't garage keep it. You know, you pay good money for these cycles. You know, some of them get three hundred dollars. That's how much. You know, what is it now? Two sixty nine. That because of the uh, the holiday season, the MBX ten motorbox is two sixty nine. Normally three hundred dollars. But like I said, you're spending good money on these cycles. Why would you want to leave them outside and just trash them? And I guess you do it for guys like me who find them trashed motorcycles and turn them into that. Because I'm, quite frankly, pretty sick of seeing all of them. And if you're going to trash them, then you might as well give them to me because I'm going to fix them up and cherish them. That's just how I get done. Never mind my junk over there. But uh, when it comes to motorcycles and your electronics and stuff like that, take care of your shit. If you take care of your shit, your shit will last you. you know I mean? Then you don't got to go out buying it every fucking year. What sense does that make? But enough of that little kind of a rant. Apparently this uh, belonged to some little kid named Josh. I never got his name when I talked to him. But I bought this little motorcycle, I guess the kid owned it, and he put it up on Craigslist with the uh, assistance of his dad. But his dad pretty much let him handle the deal, and we met at the Home Depot parking lot, and now she's here with me, getting all cleaned up. Because a little guy like that would ruin it, has ruined it. That's why I'm repairing it. But, um, I mean, the oil looked older than shit. Of course, I don't have any fucking 10W30. I got every other oil available, but I don't have any 10W30. And uh, I'm not going to put anything else besides what the manual says to put in it. But, uh, tomorrow we'll pick up oil. We'll do the oil change and get that fucking black dirtiness out of there. And we'll put a different oil in there. And then maybe she'll cheat you a little bit better. Then we cheached.